Maverick Paradox at KLDR is a weekly, conversational show that explores maverick leadership in all its guises, showcasing what it is to be an effective maverick leader with experts in diverse fields. To survive and thrive in this complex, fast-moving world, we need effective maverick leaders who are change-eager, able to strategize, innovate, and execute, and are able to work for the greater good with integrity, empathy, and passion. Judith Germain has been defining mavericks as willfully independent people since 2005 and champions divergent thinking and the ability to execute. The Maverick Paradox is for the pathologically curious. Come and join us. Omega 2021, where hope was born. Well, 2021 started extremely hopeful following the uncertainty of 2020 the year the world shut down. The United Nations had declared 2021 as the International Year of Peace and Trust, the International Year of Creative Economy for Sustainable Development, the International Year of Fruits and Vegetables, and the International Year for the Elimination of Child Labour. I wonder, however, whether historians will also consider the year as the Great Reflection. This year saw millions continue to reflect on their work and their relationship to it. In the US, that meant a significant number of low-paid workers in the hospitality industry refusing to return to their low-paid jobs. And there and elsewhere, the great resignation began to rear its head into other professions and industries. Workers were leaving in droves, even though they might not have had new jobs to go to voting with their feet for better pay and working conditions. This has made other employers consider their own organisations and the net result was the start of a return to making the workplace, whether remote or in person, a better place. Long may this continue. I saw amongst my clients a greater desire to become more diverse and inclusive and to turn theory into practice. For example, during Black History Month, I delivered a workshop entitled After George, What's Next? to 140 attendees at an NHS trust. There continues to be innovation and changes in organisational culture to accommodate a more inclusive, diverse workforce throughout the UK. There are lots of things that happened in 2021 and here are a few of them. On the 6th of January, supporters of President Donald Trump stormed the US Capitol, resulting in five deaths. On January the 13th, President Donald Trump is impeached for incitement of insurrection. The first time in history a US president is impeached twice. Joe Biden becomes the 46th president of the USA, Kamala Harris as the 49th vice president, the first female black or South Asian vice president. On the 1st of February, there was a coup d'etat in Myanmar, Engineers at MIT announced that they have engineered spinach to send emails when detecting explosive materials in groundwater as part of plant nanobionic research. Denmark approved plans for world's <clears throat> Denmark approved plans for the world's first energy island in the North Sea to provide power to three million Europeans. On March the seventh, Oprah Winfrey interviewed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who alleged that Meghan was made suicidal and subject to racist treatment by the palace. A new study suggests that the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago created South America's tropical rainforests. Human cells grown in monkey cells for 20 days was reported by US Chinese team at the Salk Institute in Cell. May 15th, there was evidence of Africa's earliest burial, a three-year-old boy, 78,000 years old, in a cave in Kenya, was published. President Emmanuel Macron makes a statement that recognises France's role in the 1994 genocide meeting with Rwanda President Paul Kagame in Gigali, Rwanda. Derek Chavant, former U.S. police officer, was sentenced to 22 years and six months for the murder of George Floyd. El Salvador becomes the first country to adopt Bitcoin 
as legal tender. And rare December tornadoes strike four American states, leaving at least 70 dead. Of course, a lot more happened in 2021 in hindsight. More political unrest than I remembered. Climate change issues and concerns, COVID increased cases and deaths, and there was good news, however, like the sports achievements, the Olympics are a good example, and newfound discoveries and a sense of hope despite the continuing tragedy of the year. But what about me? This is what I wrote on New Year's Day in 2021. The new website for aspiring maverick leaders and organisations will continue to be developed. There are a number of new ventures that I'm starting this year, more about those when I can. I will attempt to write book two this year, starting in quarter three. I will start doing more Talking Head videos and the Maverick Leaders with Mark Bremner, Nick Day and myself was to launch. So how did I do? Well, the new website is revamped and expanded and is now officially the Maverick Paradox Company website. It can be found at maverickparadox.co.uk and it showcases what we do and provides resources to provoke maverick leadership do let me know if you like it the maverick paradox magazine still retains its existing website which is the maverickparadox.com and there was a number of personal and business growth throughout the year although writing book two just wasn't one of them i have recorded and published a number of talking heads videos However, the Maverick Leaders collaboration did not take place due to the realisation that the pandemic would be an ongoing concern and we all decided to prioritise our existing businesses. We see our conversations being fruitful, sparking many innovations in the separate businesses. 2021 has been a busy year for me, and here are a few highlights. I became HR Zone's leadership columnist. HRZone.com is an online destination for HR professionals and business leaders. They have 170 page views a month and 87,000 registered members. The Maverick Paradox podcast was ranked in the top 5% global most popular podcasts. I became an international radio show host in September for the radio station KLDR, Online Leadership Development Radio. And my weekly show is the Maverick Paradox at KLDR. And I'm the first European host. Following the successes of the Maverick Paradox podcast and the Maverick Paradox magazine and the Maverick Paradox at KLDR online leadership development radio, Maverick Paradox Media was born. The Maverick Paradox podcast went from a weekly to a twice weekly show in September. The Maverick Paradox podcast was ranked number 12 best leadership podcast in the UK to follow in 2021. I became a GTEx finalist in two categories, Mentor of the Year and Outstanding Contributor of the Year. I went on to win the Contributor of the Year Award. My LinkedIn newsletter, Leadership is Personal, began in November. And my article, Organisations Need HR to be the Change Champion for HR Zone, was the fourth most popular read there in 2021. The Maverick Paradox magazine was ranked 171 best leadership blog out of thousands of blogs on the web. And I'm an official honoree for the Brains 500 Global Awards. The Brains 500 Global Awards is a prestigious list of top entrepreneurs and influential leaders who are recognised for their entrepreneurial success, achievements and dedication to helping others. I continue to speak and sit on panels discussing leadership, diversity and impact. So, Amiga 2021, where hope was born. It has been an interesting year and I look forward to seeing what 2022 brings. The Maverick Paradox. Judith Germain is an author, speaker, consultant, mentor and trainer and the leading authority on Maverick leadership. She is the founder of The Maverick Paradox, which supports organisations to enhance their leadership capabilities and to help business owners develop and grow their businesses. Judith enables individuals, business owners, and organizations to improve their impact and influence. She is also HR Zone's leadership columnist, an international online radio host, and her expert opinion has appeared in national, international, and trade press. (music) 